fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. performance is about to begin. Please ensure your mobile phone is switched off. We'd also like to remind you that flash photography is not permitted. Enjoy the show. Live from Rock Out Studios, Studio 420, one of the greatest internet talk shows of its kind, Voices at Night. This show and every show has been brought to you by TVBN, the Voices Broadcasting Network. You can get us on Facebook and on Twitter at Oscar G Voices and Alice Voices. I am Oscar G, your host, sitting here with my beautiful co-host, Alicious. What's up, baby? Hey, hey, hey. How's everyone doing tonight? We are doing awesome. What do what we say now? Oh, I see. I had a... Sorry, turn yours down just I, a teensy bit. Turn myself down? I think you get louder than the test when you because you get excited when well, the show it's starts. Well, it's not that. I'm talking, so I have to, uh, you know, I have to say something. Ah, oh, is that it? <laughs> you always have to say something, though, so I don't get why your voice changes in the, in the tonage. What are you doing the, over there? You know what it is? Are you playing already? No, I'm not. It's just this thing. I have to remove it as uh-huh. I'm talking, and I don't, so it keeps just playing on again. But that's yeah. okay. I got it. Uh-huh. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hey, guys. We, Another Sunday night. We uh, missed last weekend, uh, last Sunday, because uh, we had a barbecue. Oh, did I just poked you in the eye? No. Oh, I thought I poked you in the eye. Yeah. We had, a, we had our first annual barbecue, and uh, um, we actually did a lot of work around the house. I, uh, yeah, we did, actually. Pressure what? washed. I mean, I pressure wash the shit out of the house. About time. You don't do anything. Nothing, he dude. I am like This the weekend, he had four days off this weekend, and he did Four? It. I've been off Absolutely. since what? Wednesday? Exactly. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And what did you accomplish this weekend? Not a Not fucking a thing. Not a goddamn thing. Nope. I, you know, and, and I feel like that on a Sunday. Yeah, it catches up to you. You're like, wow, yeah. I haven't done anything. I'm like, I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to make myself feel better. Like, I, you know, I cleaned a little bit of the house. <laughs> I... I, I did the laundry, you know, I did, you know, dishes and, you know, cooked. So I try to justify it that way. Mm-hmm. But if you really, really look at it, no, I fucking did absolutely nothing this whole week. <laughs> no, I, I, see, it's like you you always, you always think something's coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because, okay, I was off when? Wednesday? Yep. I was off Wednesday. I found out Tuesday that I was off Wednesday. So, I was like, okay, am I going to get something for Thursday, Friday, or am I going to get for something for Wednesday, Thursday, because Friday I needed open because I needed to write with Karen, and then I needed to get with Noel, so yeah, that's my Friday thing with them. That hasn't happened yet. Well, it happened with Noel, but right? that's about it. But, um, no, that's that's the whole thing, you know what I mean? And then And then your mind gets all mixed up, and it's like, you know, yeah, no, you can't handle two things at once. It's no, okay, no. basically. But I did a lot of computer but work. You, yeah, you did do computer work. We got some websites up, or at least one of them up. One of them is up. TV, uh, TVBNTV.com is on. You could check us out on there. And you all, still have to build it up, though, correct? Oh, yeah, I, I got a lot of stuff. But at see, least it's I up, used to have and then a, we got a... I used to have a web designer, Jackie, which she was, she was great. She's she's done a lot for us, and but unfortunately, you know, I can't pay her, and these websites take a lot of money to... To well, maintain it takes a lot of time and, and a lot of time, yeah. Because sitting there just doing the bullshit that I do takes mm-hmm. almost all day, so I could imagine all that. But that's what I'm saying. I told her, I said, I'm gonna take uh, the websites back and I'm gonna, yeah, you come in here myself. and you get lost in here, so it's well, it that's is. that's why you know it's very hard to do this kind of work because this kind of work involves you being somewhere doing something on the computer for hours and hours and hours mm-hmm. and hours upon hours. Because that's that's what it is. But I you mean, have like no control over time. Like you get sucked into the computer. Exactly. No, and that, you have loss of time. Like literally, you'll be on there for six hours and only think it's in one hour. Oh, absolutely. So, all right. Well, you got so you got your website up. You're working on the other one and mine as well, right? Yeah, yours is actually. I 
Man, they make it easy. They make it sound so easy on YouTube. Uh huh. <laughs> Everything's easy on YouTube. When you try to still teach yourself on YouTube, there's, and, there's gonna be a hiccup here and there. No, but I, you know, I've done a lot of, you know, work through YouTube, mm-hmm. and I've actually learned a lot of stuff mm-hmm. through YouTube because all this stuff, like four years ago when I first started all this junk. It's teaching for dummies, basically exactly, what it is. It's yeah. instead of the books of, for dummies, it's actually right there shown to exactly. you as a dummy. Instead of reading that book on biology, I should have just <laughs> seen the video on biology okay. and I would have been all right. I was trying to act all smart. We uh we went out actually uh looking for uh, cheap cheaper places to, to get cheaper meat. and better places to eat I uh, get our meats and our uh our veggies and our seafoods and stuff. So we found a butcher shop over in, uh, well, there's a butcher and a seafood place over in Winter Park, which is kind of like a, a high-end area around so here. So Alice, Alice thought that going straight to the butcher would be cheaper. Well, I, I figured, you know, it's they can probably get a better deal. It's probably better quality meat, you know, and so I figured it would be a better deal. Plus, I had a coupon. You know, me and my coupons got to have a coupon. Yeah, you got to spend 30 bucks to get $5 off. Hey. But, you know, for good meat, it's like that. But it was just a little pricey. A little pricey. Holy shit. Well, you know, part, you know, I, I, I knew that the place was going to be expensive. I've never been to a butcher block. As, as I've soon never, as, ever been inside a butcher As soon block. as we started walking in, somebody opened up the door for <laughs> yeah. us. So as soon as somebody opens up the door for you, you as you're know. walking into their business, <laughs> you know you're going to be spending some cash in there. Yeah. But, yeah, it was a little pricey. We didn't get anything there because, like I said, everything was a little pricey. Mm-hmm. And for us to it spend... It looked good, though, but, yeah, it was... Like I said, we had to spend, what, 30 bucks to save about five bucks. So for 25 yeah. bucks, we probably would have had two steaks. Yeah. You know? And we get two steaks for the same price. Really good ribeyes just down the street that we normally go to for half the price of that. Yeah. The, and the, those were really nice ribeyes. The I mean, fancy can, produce place there. Yeah. yeah. So you can uh, check out that picture for our dinner with our snow crab stuffed yeah, mushrooms. Actually, and, uh, yeah, we have that uh, picture up on Facebook. Uh, yeah. Um, now we had a really good dinner with that, and it was half the cost. But anyways, we're in Winter Park, and we're going down, and we see Goodwill. And we're Goodwill, garage sale people. We love that type of stuff. And then you know what? It caught my eye because it said boutique underneath. I have never heard of a Goodwill boutique. So we got... Goodwill boutique. <laughs> I, I did a quick right turn, pulled in, and we walked in. We were like, as soon as we walked in, we were like, oh, yeah, there's nothing in here for us. But we were like, you know, let's just look around. You know, so we uh, take a quick look around. There's a little bit of, you know, higher prices, whatnot. Um, Oz jumps ahead of me and starts looking around. Well, I guess he went over by the books and Kava squatted on a chair and opened up a book and just waited for me to just come by and pass by looking like But I was, was actually reading it. No, he wasn't. Yes, I was. No, he was looking at the pictures. Don't even. You don't even know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> So, what a bitch. <laughs> we're in here, and you know, we're good 10. I, I you know, pass people him, are going to start believing this stuff. <laughs> you know, I passed you by once, and he didn't notice I passed by the first time, and I noticed what he was doing. Because I was reading. Yeah, my butt. You were just staring at there, because you were in the same position, same page, and everything. And then I go, How do you know I was on the same page? Because I could see it. And then I, I walk back over after I look at a couple other things and I get Zoe and he's still on the same freaking page. <laughs> you know, there's in in a, in, in a biology book mm-hmm. there is a lot of big words yes. and a lot of long sentences. And I'm sure sentences. you had no clue what any of those words were. <laughs> and a lot of when you uh, say you paragraphs. read when you said you read half that book, it involved the words is the and <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for the movie to come out. But still, you know, that's not even the funniest part is out of this boutique, right, out of all the clothes. And it was a nice little shop, you know, but it was, you know, it's still Goodwill. The thing that caught his eye was a Howard Stern book. Now, for one, he's not going to read it. Miss America. He says he's going to read it, I'll but read he's it. not no, going to read this is, See, this when is... When have you ever read a book? What see, was the last is, book you have ever read? This honestly, is a misconception honestly, nope, of everything. Nope. When was the last book you've ever read? I've never read a book. See? Okay, but look. No wonder I say you can't read a book, dude. I promise you, you will not read this book. Okay, can I say something now? Go ahead. Okay, this thing about, yeah, I, do do I read a lot? No, why can't I read? Because I can't see. I need glasses. Uh-huh. And when but I But yet he sat in this room and read, claims he read a half a page of microbiology book, but he can't see, right? I No, that's I, because, uh, no, because that's because I got to read slower. 
<laughs> when you can't see it, you got to read slower. Yeah. So you have it, it takes a long, a little bit longer. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll read. Watch. I'll read that book. Uh-huh. No, I, I got those. I old. want a full essay. I want a five hundred word page essay due next week. <laughs> Well, the only thing, the, the, the thing is about that is it's Howard Stern's life, and I know most of it. That's true. But, but this is a, like, what? What was it? Uh, Miss, Miss America? Miss America, America thing? yeah. No, it's a good, uh, I mean. But I, it, was a, it was a fun adventure anyways out there, and it was, uh, I just thought it was funny that, you know, in this high-end Winter Park boutique, the only thing he could find, and just picks up automatically, was a Howard Stern book. But see, the thing is, it makes me laugh. It's a, it's a Goodwill boutique. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, walking walking into a Goodwill boutique, you're, you're like, well, there's nothing <laughs> in here for us. Because <laughs> really, there wasn't. There wasn't, no, there wasn't really, really nothing anything. in there for us. I oh. mean, there was a nice pair of boots. Too bad it was like one size too small. But All those uh, platform. Those platform brown shoes. Those, those were nice, shoes. though. They were good. All right. I, that, that would be your style? I would wear those with a pair of jeans to go out. Oh, to go out? Yeah, that's not that bad. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear them daily, no, but that would be like my going out type of boots. Okay. You know me, I don't like the the high heels or anything, and you got something flying around in here, and it's pissing you, me off. No, you know what it was? It was uh, when I had the door open. Oh, of course. You I, know, and uh, if I get bit, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's all right. Yeah, I'll protect. Actually, it'll probably take you know, probably bite me better than you do. I'll protect you. Uh, me and Noel got together on uh, Saturday and uh, Saturday? Friday. No, Saturday. Saturday, and, I think it was uh, yesterday. Yeah. And we wrote a song. Did you really? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm kind of, kind of happy. Now, was this it. the one that you uh, you started the little? Uh... Yeah, like I, I started because I got this '77 uh, uh, acoustic uh, ovation, and uh, it's not electric, and it's cool too because we go to these garage sales. On, uh, on the weekends and we wound up going to this church garage sale which we wound up buying yeah. uh, how much did we want to spend like 20 bucks less than 20 bucks it was like 17 dollars yeah 17 bucks and we walked away with a couple microphones a pickup for my for my acoustic uh, Sirius satellite radio, the stiletto one that the, cost, the, the, a, lo- cost the, a lot of money cost about 300 and bucks and it works um, a drum set for Zoe. A little drum set for like a forty dollar brand new Furby doll thing that. Yeah, this was, cra- everybody was crazy about this, last this year. This weird doll. What is this doll? It's, I think it's called a Furby, if I'm not mistaken. That electric, electronic little. Uh, you know, it scares me. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's like a Chucky for me. <laughs> that thing, because you look at it and look at the when you look at it, look at their uh, uh, at the eyes mm-hmm. itself. I'm scared because they're probably looking back. Yeah, probably one that, of those things that they you know record on you. Yeah, they did. It feels like it's it, it's it's just looking back at me. Yeah. And, and I feel like you know a little bit weird, you know. And she left it on, and it's going off, you mm-hmm. know. And I was like, oh, I gotta shut this off. Yeah, you gotta shut it <laughs> off. Yeah, it's like Skyler with the little post-it over his camera on the Xbox. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little scary thing. But anyway, we wound up getting uh, all this stuff and paying like 17 bucks. And I wound up getting, uh, what I saw in the bag was a, uh, a pickup that I knew that it was for an acoustic guitar. You know, because most, most acoustics don't come electric. Unfortunately, mine didn't. So, uh, and, oh, and the strings. Yes, With the strings. The strings. Yeah, we, got, we got a whole bunch of stuff, actually. I needed, I needed, a whole a, bunch of I stuff needed guitar there. strings, and I got... The guitar strings, and then I tested out the because uh, I was like thinking, I'm like, man, this is like a fifty dollar piece. I said, watch me get it, get it home, and it doesn't work, and yeah. that, that would. I know. mean, basically everything we got was like fifty cents to a dollar. Oh yeah, every it, single thing. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, the lady was reducing prices just to give it to me. Yeah, it was just like. <laughs> so I plugged that, you know, I plugged it in, and it worked. It worked, and I drilled a hole in the side of the guitar so the uh, the, the wire comes out, and plugged it in, and. Noel got on there and played the the what he, the riff that I came up with. What he created out of your right. riff. But it's so cool because it's like I said, it's like me with with Karen, mm-hmm. you know, with with Oz and Dorothy your production. Uh-huh. Um, all I have to do is just tell them what's in my head, and they create what's in my head. You know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. I mean, it, it, it's pretty amazing that. You know, I'm considered a a co-writer, and I never read a book. <laughs> right? That's pretty sad. What is this country coming to? Seriously. But I, because, 
the thing is, you know, besides being the creator of something, and then you're actually telling the story mm -hmm. to somebody, you're actually writing the story. They're just writing it to make you understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, a lot, a lot of times, I could keep talking and uh, and just keep going. Mm -hmm. Like last week, last week, if you didn't, if, if when you didn't, we didn't do the show, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to do it and I was going to do a solo, but I was like, ah. Nobody you know. wants to hear you. Don't you Shut understand up. that? <laughs> they tune in for Alalicious. Oh, is that what it is? That they is just, it, oh, baby. yeah, they tune in for you. Right, no. guys? You got to tell me how much you so, love Alalicious. So, uh, you know, we got we got down on uh, on that song. I, I want to make it more like Stairway to Heavenish. And it actually did. It came out really good when I heard that yeah. uh, little demo you had there going on. Yeah, it that, sounded really good. That guitar plays real good. I'm going to cut you know edit and cut some video on it and uh and and post that also you know um noel is here with his girlfriend um and she's taking pictures you know with the camera that we got the expensive my camera. camera yeah, yeah. My camera. your uh -huh. camera yeah the one that costs a lot of money and yes. isn't doing anything there and it is i just i'm still learning it yeah i know I need but more time i know but, I'm but, but okay. it's Almost a year yes. and still okay. sitting there. Yeah. You know, well, I, you took it. You brought it in here. It even shouldn't no, even I, be in I, here. I, that's why I'm trying to make some use out of it. You yeah. know what I uh -huh. mean? And so you know. Blah blah blah. That's all I hear. Of course, she's taking pictures of Noel, and every picture is like perfect. Every fucking picture. This well, kid he's takes. young and you know. It's skinny aggravating and, me. and I told him that. And I young and skinny. <laughs> I told him that. I was like, you know what? You aggravate the hell out of me because every picture you goddamn take is so goddamn good. And the thing is, like, I'm pissed at you, but I'm not pissed at you at the same time because I'm pissed at you because you're better looking at me but I'm not pissed at you because you're on my team you know what I mean if you were playing if you were in a band and somebody else's fucking band nah I wouldn't fucking I wouldn't even talk to you <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even include you on anything but no uh, anyway yeah we did that we uh, we are going to the uh, studio to uh, actually on Friday to to play in front of this engineer guy from Full Sail that wants to meet up with us. Mm -hmm. uh, he says he kind of, he likes our music, so we're gonna meet up with him and see if he can help us out. Of course, everything because I posted this ad on Craigslist, uh -huh. and I and I put on there, you know, you're not getting paid for this. This is yeah. you know, you gotta help me out. We know we all know you're a broke ass bitch. It's okay. Exactly. You know, have I one can't one. even squeeze a penny out of his ass. Yeah, I mean, when you shit, have yeah. wife and kids, man, you, you don't have anything. You know, like it's not like Ron at the pawn shop, single, no kids. He's got <laughs> Corvette. He's had seven Corvettes. <laughs> he's on his seventh Corvette right now. And I was like, see, this is what happens when you don't have kids. Fucking kids are expensive, man. Yes, my they are. my son is it cost us in the past month. I don't even know how much between a these, lot. these trips. Then he had the homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. Then he had this, and he, he had that. Horror and nights, and he needs new clothes. And and he needs yeah, he wants this, to go to horror nights with this. his friends, and and see the thing is, with with what we did is, phone. yeah, he wants the what smartphone? What, what phone? Well, he just got another phone because he broke his other one, and then now he wants the new iPhone. Yeah, the, that thing everybody wants. Yeah. But he's he's getting good grades, and our thing is, as long as you're bringing home A's and B's, we'll get you almost anything you want. But it used to be this way. It was, um, and he takes honors classes. So I mean, for A's and B's, that's really, 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 really good. He's working hard, and he's in the marching band. And on top of that, I mean, he's he's doing really good. I I I'm the kind of guy that uh, it's like my dad. You know what I mean? I, I, everything was always uh, forced on me, and uh, if you didn't do it, you got you know you got your ass beat. And, you know, I beat my kids back in the day. I mean, not beat them like, you know, like I'm supposed to get arrested, beat them, but I spanked them in the butt. Yeah, which and, I think all parents should do. And with the bruises on the 24 hours, if anybody's listening. Yeah. But, I, you know, I did it the right way. I didn't do it like back in the day, like, you know, my dad used to do to me. That was, you know, yeah, that was bad, but I was a bad kid. So, you know, it, it was like I you put You didn't a, abuse the kid. You just punished the kid for, you know, you taught him a lesson and it was within reason. You know, right. it's not like you big, you know, bitch slapped him across the face or something. You just swatted his ass and said, look, don't do that. So, if more parents did that, freaking be less crappy kids out there. Yeah, true that. But when uh, we got, 
man, see, this is why I don't mess see, with it. See, why are you playing with it? Exactly. Because see? I'm trying to get, I'm seeing if everything's coming out okay because I'm kind of worried about the system here. Okay, now I can see it. See, now you didn't have to go all the way up there, but that's uh -huh. all right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a pain in my ass. You know that? But, uh, no, so uh, we went the, uh, the other way now. We are basically telling him and her that if you... If you get good grades, you get whatever you want. Yeah. Basically. Because before, like, the spankings and stuff, thank you so much. The spankings and stuff, you know, wasn't working at all. No. They just, they just kind of looked at you being like, really? Yeah. Again. That's again. Yeah. Really? Especially with Zoe. I mean, yeah. Zoe was a pain in the ass. Because I, I, got, I got paddles, butt paddles from actually Goodwill. And uh, that's what I use. But like I said, the, 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 the spankings were 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 spankings but they were the bruises under the 24 hour thing mm -hmm. or no 48 hours was it 48 hours 24 it doesn't matter you didn't freaking even i mean it was a yeah. little bit of a bruise didn't even last a couple hours but so the one thing the one thing i'm glad about my son is 14 and my daughter is eight and both of them i've never heard curse yes that's both one of them are doing really really good too mm -hmm. both of them are starting to turn around that's and do one, really well one so. good thing and i told hopefully him, we have something good going here now and i told alice i was like uh it's all about respect, man. You gotta. You know, there's always that one time that they can change. You know what I mean? Because yeah. right now he's got a buddy. You know, he's got his buddy with him, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're, you know, they're having fun or whatever. Now let's say they, uh, they both, uh, they're both juniors now. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going into the future. Yeah. And <laughs> all of a sudden, the new girl shows up, Melissa. Uh huh. Bam. Beautiful, blonde, blue eyes. See, he doesn't like blondes. He likes brunettes. Okay, brunette. Because <laughs> they look both like brunettes. And now the love bug hits them both. Mm -hmm. I like her. No, I like her. Now, none of them want to give up. It's happened to me before. Well, this is you. Yeah. Look at your son. He's nothing like you. I understand it, but it, it, this is stuff that happens. Oh, it will happen, yes, and I'm you know sure what it I'm will. Saying? But Skyler but, will handle it. But Skyler's see, the type of guy going, okay, if you like her, then you have her. I mean, Skyler's not one to start a fight over something. No, and, and, he is I'm not totally saying he's. I'm not, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. With, no, as far as any I'm of that not stuff. saying he's going to get up and, and start beating him up. No, but this is this is a scenario. Okay, mm -hmm. they both like her. Okay, so Skyler, it, it'll be the, the guy, the guy and be, okay, you can have her because he doesn't want to be confrontational. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, the, the friend starts dating her and he's always going to hold that animosity against that because it's always there and they're always together and he's like, oh, she, she should have been mine. This, this, and that. And, it, and right there, it, if it, it screws with a guy's mind. See, women don't understand that because, you know, all you women do is just... All we do is what? You, you know. really want to open your mouth on that one? Well, yeah. Really? You, you guys just, you know, just lay there. Okay. I'll, oh, no, that's what you want us to do, okay? Now, there's some freaking pain in the ass women out there, but not all of us are the same. And you should know that. I am nothing like any of your other girlfriends. Oh, I, no, absolutely not. I mean, I'm not saying all my, all my you know, don't go ahead, don't get... Don't get it wrong now. Don't get my panties in a bunch. My yeah, my girl, my ex girlfriends weren't that bad. Oh yeah, some of them were, but well, that's some, beside the point. Some of them were. A lot of them are still, I'm still friends with. I mean, most of them. I'm oh still, yeah, some of them are good. On Facebook, friends most with of them, them have befriended me on uh, actually, Facebook, that, and I'm probably more friends with them now than you are. Yeah, that's that, that's actually pretty <laughs> funny because that is true. Yeah. But some of my ex girlfriends <laughs> are friends with my wife, and they. Uh, they like her more than me, Go and they always do. Uh, but it's fun, you know. Everything's in fun. Yeah. But I'm gonna, and I'm gonna give you updates on that book that I'm gonna read. No, I want the whole thing next week. I want a fifty. I'm not gonna. Be, I ain't gonna be able to fuck read a book in a week. <laughs> You're not even gonna be able to read a page in a week. That's what are you talking about, <laughs> man? Damn, get off of this thing, wow. will you? <laughs> I guarantee. I will put a dollar on this that you will not read. All right. Do we want to? I put we, five we, pages. You will not get past five pages by next Sunday before the show. Five pages five by pages. next Sunday? Five pages. Okay. And, I will, and I'm going to come in here and I'll skim over them so I know what the hell you're talking about. You know what? I'll do it while we're laying in bed. No. You don't do anything then anyways. <laughs> That's I what mean, I mean. I mean, you probably should. I'll do it while we're laying in bed. <laughs> 
<laughs> <You're right. coughs> hey, what was that? Uh, what was that argument we were having in bed? Which one? The one with you having a small penis? <laughs> no, no <don't> mess. <laughs> What the, the one that you can't satisfy me? Wow. <laughs> or was it the no. one that you regretted to marry me? Uh, oh, I regretted to marry you? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, hold on. No, it's got to be how it's my fault how your balls hit the water every time you go poo, right? Oh, jeez, here we go. No? If it's, no. Then I have no clue what you're... What when, argument you when need? We were talking about the terrorists. Oh, that one. Oh, so it's off the sex life topic. Oh, okay. It's such a tough Well, bag. you said in bed. What does that have to do with in bed? Come on. Look, we've been together for 17 years, okay? You know, shit happens. That's the way it works. I mean. But it's my fault that your balls hit the cold water? No, well, that's old age. I mean, that happens to, uh, to uh, a lot of guys. Actually, a lot of guys. And it's my fault. You can't satisfy me, huh? Well, that's your problem. Yeah. I mean, shit. You, I gave up on that a long no, time you ago. Wanted, you, wanted to get, you wanted to get pounded like a jackrabbit, man. <laughs> I'm 47 years old. I'm done jackhammering anything. You know what I mean? My my movements. You can't even get that motor started, man. You're my, just like my, my, two pounds in. You're done. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people are actually going to believe you in this stuff. It's true. But anyway... Uh, no, I mean, shit. We've been together for 17 years. I mean, we our sex life is like, you know, non-assistant. I mean, we... Cause it, it, but see, that's, that, that's the difference between us and other people. Other people, if they don't have sex, they'll break up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they have to have sex. I'm like, you know... Uh, you know it, it, Sex it's not that big of a thing for me. You not know, me I can get over it. Not, every once in a while, I pull out my little battery friend and say hello. It. You come you in know, here. You just, every once uh, in a while. Once in a while you know, and do you every thing. couple of nights, we'll take care of each other, but that's it. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I mean, you know, all I need is about 30 seconds of... Literally. Of, of, <laughs> <laughs> you, all, you said it, not me. I'm talking when I'm watching videos and uh, I'm here by myself. <laughs> Really? Because when you're watching videos in there, it's the same thing. I can actually, I can actually satisfy a woman. Really? Yeah. Can you show me that? Maybe. <laughs> we are. See, this is why we don't you have. You know, a, there was one night. You know, a, what was that? A year ago. One night a year ago, what? Where we actually got really spiced up in the bedroom. And that was when we invited a friend in there. Oh, when we had a friend in yeah, there. Boy, yeah, boy, you went around like a little rabbit. Boy, you wanted it. Well, yeah, because that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's like it's like having a new toy. It was. He was like he was like fifteen years old. He was like, Woo, all giddy. He was he had permagrin on for like three days straight. He was like We had sex for like three days straight. <laughs> but see. I don't think we ever had sex for three days straight. Right? I don't think we ever did. <laughs> But uh no. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It, it you know, it's spicing it up. And when we yeah. talk, when we talked about, you know, doing the swinging thing and this and that. But see, the thing is that takes work, man. And we both kind of we, do, we both do, need to lose some weight. It takes work, but no, besides the weight thing because like I said, you know, I've uh See, you don't care. You'll just hit anything with a vagina. And Me, I actually care well, what you, I'm actually doing. Well, so. yeah, but the thing is, a lot of guys are like me that they don't care as long as they hit a vagina, but that's what I'm saying. You don't have to lose weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, is there a chance you're going to find an Adonis like, you know, you're the one in your presence right now? Probably not. But, you know, it's the luck of the drawer. Yeah. But, but I also don't want to get stuck with some old bald sixty eight year old man. But see that's you know? the thing, is like can't or, you just can't you just close your eyes and No. Why? I mean, no. isn't a penis a penis? No. Even if the lights are off? Yeah. No? no. I can't no. Why not? I don't know. I've I've never I've, been able to I mean if I if I'm by myself, I can fantasize all I want. You no, know, I I've, heard, I've heard I've whatever. heard about that. That women when can't. I'm, when I'm actually with somebody in front, no, I can't do it. I'll, you can't I'll do dry it. Dry up like a freaking. Really, yeah. it won't even. No. Even though he's sticking it in there, yeah, it won't even feel nothing. good. It was like you the other night. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, she got some good ones this week. I do. Huh? I gotta keep from going on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I do have to tell you is your your dream has come true. What's that? You are a tropical storm now heading to destroy Puerto Rico. 
No. Yes. Am I really? Mr. Gonzalo, the, their tropical storm has been formed, and you should be a hurricane by the time you hit Puerto Rico. So, no. Am I <laughs> no? Am I a hurricane, or am I just a tropical storm? You're right a now? tropical storm right now, but by Tuesday, you're supposed to be hitting Puerto Rico as a Category 1 hurricane. All right. Hold on a and, second. And, you know, I know that's I got to verify I, this. I I'm know that's your here. favorite... Your favorite place on earth is Puerto Rico, so I know you're just excited about this Love one. Love them Puerto Ricans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Me and them get along so, so good. So well. Even the, and your daughters have Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> See, that that's the thing. It's like, you know, don't, don't make me sound like I'm a bad guy, but the thing is, like, I've had a lot of problem with them. Yeah. You no, know I, mean, I mean, there's a couple of good ones out there, and but... They're this, I work You hey, know, I work they, they know... I work with a couple. Well, you got it on your weather map thing there? On your weather thing? Yep, that's the story right there. I haven't actually seen the map, but that's the story about it. Gonzalo has a tropical storm. By Tuesday, I'll be hitting Puerto Rico as a Category 1. Wow, look at that, huh? 200 miles east. And, you know, Gonzalo is, you know, not that, you know, well-known of a name. Everybody's always like, Gonzalez? No, Gonzalo. Well, that's actually a first name, um, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not even not even a last name. It's just supposed to be a first name. Really? Yeah, I had a, a fat friend when I was a kid. Um, his name was Gonzalo, but you know he, he was all right. I mean, it wasn't. What does a fat friend have to do anything with his name? You just had to throw that part that he was fat in there. Yeah, because he's the one that made me break my legs. And still, you had to put. I mean, you were he's talking f- about a name, but you you threw the fat yeah. kid in there. It was like. Yeah, because he's the one that made me break my legs. It was. <laughs> It hurt, man. It's, that's what I'm saying. Really? And how did, how did he make you the, break your legs? Because we were doing this thing that, you know, I carry him pick it. This is when I uh, lived in, 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 in Queens. Uh, I carried him piggyback. He carried, no, nah, he carried me piggyback from one car to another. And then he was supposed to piggy, um, he was supposed to ride on my back on the way back. Uh-huh. So he got me to one car, and then he ju- he went on my back, but he jumped on my back. And you went down. To and the I cow, went huh? down, dude. My legs got caught between the 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 front tires, and and they twisted, and they oh. like ugh, it was na- I I freaked out, and I twisted them back. Oh and, wow! And I went up crying to my mom. My mom took me to the hospital, and the hospital like uh, Broadway Hospital was you I want to say maybe a quarter mile away. And we didn't have a car because my dad had it, so she she had to walk, carry me all the way to the hospital to get to get the cast on, and then carry me all the way back. As she's carrying me back to the to our apartment, it starts to rain, and it melts like you know once the cast get wet, they get they get loosened up, and that's why my feet never healed, and that's why he's called Fat Gonzalo. That's why you walk like that. That's, that's what I want to. Well, yeah. Well, that's because my. That, that's why my. I can't wear like boots tied up all the time because my feet start to burn. That explains a lot. Well, that's why. I mean, yeah. But it goes I, a little farther than your legs. Too, and I don't think he was. Por- I don't think okay. he was Puerto goes Rican. He five. was actually. Uh, he was Spanish, but I, he wasn't Puerto Rican. Did you happen to damage your penis during that incident? No, I haven't. No. Damn, I'm still wondering why that doesn't go. See, you know, like I said, people are going to start <laughs> buying this shit off of you. <laughs> and, you know, see, the thing is, the women that have been with me already know. Then why are you getting a complex? I'm not getting a complex. Then quit bitching. I'm not bitching. You're, you're being a little bitch right now. <laughs> I mean, no, but see... You, you, you want me to get a wambulance for you? Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> you know, we go we go with this balls thing that, you know, ball sagging thing. Yeah, that, that, well, that's what happens. You know what, how old he's getting? He actually sits and pees now, too. Oh, see, we have to go there? <laughs> I'm just baiting. You're talking about your balls getting wet. This is it. All right, see, this is the thing, okay? And this happens a lot, I'm sure. Uh-huh. I'm sure there's a lot of guys that, you know, Sit go through pee? this. Really? Yeah, no, I, I would I like I would like a, you know, why don't you do a Facebook survey on that? How many guys sit and pee? And at what age do they start this? I guarantee you the first one. No, I'm not the first one. I know. See <laughs> At this age? No, see this this, this is the thing that happens to Or is guys. that like pure laziness? I mean, no, come on. No, it's one is pure laziness, yes. But that splash but of cold refreshing no. water doesn't <laughs> make you want to stand right up. I hate you. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's it's no, it has nothing to do with that. It happened this way. Um 
usually when you go and you pee, you have to turn a light on because you got to aim and you know see uh-huh. where you're going and all that stuff. And then when you when you're like in the middle of the night, and when this started actually when I started waking up peeing, you know when I throughout the night throughout yeah. the night, uh-huh. you know what I mean. And then it's like. It's like you get up and then you turn the lights on and then fucking it's like, you know, <laughs> bright light, bright light, bright, bright, light. The bright light in your face and you're like, oh, and then you're like, gizmo, no, bright light, bright light. Yeah. So after, you know, getting up four or five times to pee every night, mm-hmm. you know, it's like kind of tiring. Damn, and keep you pee turning. more than a dog. I pee. I used to pee a lot. Now yeah. it's down to like maybe twice. But I do drink a lot of liquids. That's the thing. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, you I'm, stay I'm well, always, well I'm, hydrated. I'm always drinking liquids. But um so what it was, it was the, the the thing is when you go and sit down and pee, it doesn't uh you don't have to turn the lights on. You know what I mean? You just go in there, you know, flap, you know, do the so you, have you ever missed the toilet and just kind of fell over? No, but I sat on my balls once. <laughs> oh god, that's gotta hurt. I, that woke no, you up. <laughs> it was funny I was, and that cold water did it. I'm sure that did. No, Shit. it was it was funny because I thought the toilet seat was up. You know what I mean? And because for some reason that's what it looked. I don't know. I was it was the middle mm-hmm. of the night, so yeah. I was kind of imagining things. And I looked down, and it looked like the toilet seat was up. So you know, you do the tuck thing when you go under there. Really, I've that, never done the tuck thing. Can you explain <laughs> to me this tuck thing? <laughs> And then, and then you tuck. Wait, hold on. How do you tuck? Because I really like to know this. You know, when you push your penis back, you know, so you don't. Can you hit. stand up and, and, and demonstrate for me? Because I'm like. It's something like. I, I need a visual here. You, you sit down, you just push it back, and you, then just, you sit there. Yeah. Ow. Fucking great. I wish y'all could have seen that. But uh, no. Um, so that's, that's what you do. You, you know, you push it. So one time I did that, and you know when I sit down, I sit, I sit down. Yeah, like, you fall. Like, like there's a lot of weight. You there's just a lot of weight coming down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, man, I sat down, boy, and I fucking almost crushed my penis. I was like, oh, your penis man. or your balls? My balls. My but my balls. But the thing was, it was my penis was pointed straight down because I had like one of those miniature hard ons. You know, that's every day. It, it wasn't no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it, no, it was one of them that it's not hard, but it's that soft, but it's like yeah, in between. It. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> See, this is this is when everything comes awry. <laughs> you left yourself wide open for but, that. But uh, yeah, so I sat on it, and I was like, "Oh man, that fucking hurt." I bet. Yeah, but no, it it'll bring a tear to your eye. But see, the, 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 that's the, that's the thing. It, it came from pure laziness because I didn't want it to keep turning the light on, and you know, getting especially five times at night, and then I got used to it. Wow. Now it's just a lot easier. Well, it's not a bad thing. I need a violin to play for you. I suck. At <laughs> you guys sit down to shit. The shit they pee. The same thing. See, my thing though is okay. How can you sit on the toilet with your balls dangling, splashing in the water? For one, you're peeing in there, so now your balls are dripping in Look, pee water. No, wait, hold on. Then you're going to poo, and see, you know that thing's going to splash. See, now, now, right? you get, now you get ridiculous. No, I'm not. For it's one, all going in the toilet bowl, right, with their balls hanging in there, right? See, this it's, is... It's, hey, you know what? It's just like the ladies with the long fingernails. You want to know why they, how they wipe their ass? I'm curious. I want to know how you poo with your balls sitting in the water. Okay, for one, okay, in this bathroom, my balls do not splash the water. You're the one that said it, not me. No, I, I said I said in the bathroom that we had. Okay, okay so in that bathroom the that one, you the had. The water level, yeah, it was a pain in the ass because you splash and, yeah. <laughs> but see, no, the thing. What it, happened if you had diarrhea? But the thing, no, see, oh, the, wow. no, see, <laughs> you're, you're overthinking this way too much. <laughs> imagine like you have to go take a shower but you, no no you have to no because because what happens is back then see you 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 cry <laughs> laughing that's so funny this is to you know. you're such a bitch <laughs> <laughs> i want to know how many other women at home have to go through this right. for their husbands so no so Boyfriends, what it, what whatever it, no what it was is like um when when the balls hit the cold water mm-hmm. it's a, like a retraction <laughs> thing 
You know what I mean? Because oh, they shrivel up. Yeah, like, Oosh. yeah, they shrivel. <laughs> the, the shrivel effect happens. You know, the water's cold type of thing happens, and it, and it's just like you know. The, I was in the pool. Right. You know, the testicles are very of an yeah. interesting organ. Yeah. So just in the like, uh, what's his name? I'm, I was in the pool. Yeah, like uh, Constanza. Yeah. yeah. It was in the pool. It was but in that, the pool. Yeah, but that's, that's right. what happens. So that's why. That's why when you sit there, and then as soon as your balls touch the water, they retract, and then you're peeing. So your balls actually are not touching the water while you're peeing. Oh, okay. See? Right. See? Why couldn't you say that from the get-go? Because I'm trying to. You're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you had to say. No, they, they retract as soon as they hit it. Oh, okay. It's like a slinky. It's, it's yeah, just like, right back it, it's, it's like, like, like a, a yo-yo. <laughs> right. It's like a slinky. Jeez. <laughs> The shit that I have to go through. <laughs> You're the one that sits up and has arguments with me about this stuff, so I don't want to hear it. About your, what stuff? It's your balls. This is our bedroom talk. This is what you whisper in my ears. Hey, my my balls hit the water. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dumbass. <laughs> Fucking retarded. Oh. All right, can we get to the news now? What news? <laughs> <laughs> We're, Ebola, we're still Ebola free. No, we're not. There's another one uh, in and, Texas. No, there was one in Boston, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't hear about the Boston one, but I did hear about the second one in Texas. What's so up, it's, it's what, still around. What, one, one of the guys he touched? Yeah, I, believe, I think it was one of the... A nurse or something. A nurse? I believe. Um, don't quote me on that one. You know, that's got to suck being the doctor or the nurse, being in charge of that fucking... Of that situation. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, really? I'm nice and clean. I got to go in there. But the thing is that they're still not even not even considering stopping the flights. Yeah, it was a health uh, the health worker uh, tested positive for Ebola. So it was somebody that uh, was working with him. I, I could have sworn they said something about uh, somebody in, uh, in Boston. Have, uh, I don't think I've heard Boston yet. I heard. I think the one in Spain ended up. Uh, she was another one that was a nurse that was actually working in Africa. Spain didn't it have like and fourteen she touched, people in Spain. She ended up touching her face, and I don't know if it broke out more or not. And I have not checked out yet. But you know what's funny about that? That I heard that they say that they won't make the medication, the the medicine for that, because not enough people have it. I th- and no, not enough people have it, and it's too expensive to make. So, in other words, you—it's the same thing like the ALS thing. The reason they they don't make the medicine yeah, for it is because people. not enough people have. I mean, ex- they, when they say they don't, they're not making enough. They make enough if we start an outbreak to where they have a good amount. Right, but see, the thing is that money's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. In order for the pharmaceutical companies to make money for the for the serum of that particular virus, okay, they they they, they have to have money coming in from somewhere. If, if nobody nobody wants up buying it, you know, they just made all that medicine for nothing, and for you know, for them, it's it's a lot. Apparently, a lot of money. Yeah. And I thought well, that was pretty. Of course, it is a lot of up. money, but it's. You know, not just because not a lot of people have it. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna make. You're not gonna mass produce it. You know, don't you make billions of dollars? Over, <clears throat> oops. Oh, man. oh yeah, they they make a crap load of money. You know, and you can't tell me you can't make some some stuff so that way these people could get cured. Well, I mean, they have made it, and they again, I'm sure they have a certain amount already made. They're just not making mass production of it right now because it does cost a lot of money, and we don't know if it's going to. You know, it spread over the United States, which probably it will, because people don't know how to wash their hands. Or and then cover there, their there, nose there's or that other. What other virus is that that just killed that uh, four-year-old kid? That's a uh, intravirus. The oh, in- intravirus. Man. That's a uh, a viral. Mostly, it's because if you already have like an asthma or you already have something else that's a, a hard to breathe item, and you get this, it makes it really hard. Now, what was troublesome is especially for this one kid. Uh, he went to sleep with absolutely no symptoms, and he just died straight in his sleep. He's dying in his sleep. He died in his sleep, oh. which is, which is good in a way. It but is good in a way because you, you don't know, know. You're 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 tucking in your you, kid with it, absolutely no symptoms, so you think it's just fine, healthy, gonna, regular good night, and then boom, he's you know passed in the morning, and that's gotta suck. 
Ugh, four years old. <clears throat> very, very tragic and sad. It is. It's crazy. I mean, and th- th- do they have any control of that one now? Uh, no, but they, they are realizing that it is more of a, uh, a, a respiratory disease where if you have the asthma and you have a hard time breathing, then that's when you need to make sure that you're being watched and kind of look out for anything that's unusual. My question is, where do these things come from? <coughs> where do these viruses come from? They, they- they're mutated from other things. Like, this is probably a strain of... Uh, either influenza or the bird flu or something like that and it's probably a mutation of it and it you know it got crossed and mutated into something else and it's so it's showing up right now you don't think somebody makes it <laughs> uh i'm sure there's plenty of conspiracy theories out there um i could probably go with them but i haven't heard anything of them yet because, you know, every, to me, everything sounds a little bit fishy. Oh, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Pharmaceuticals wouldn't be alive if we I mean, didn't have no, issues. The, the pharmaceutical you know, thing, the ISIS thing, the, the because the thing is, we, you know, I do a lot of research and I watch a lot of videos on, you know, on the internet. You, you watch a lot of videos on the internet. You don't do a lot of research. I but did, I that's mean, my research. No, no I know, I but go, that's the thing. Is that correct research? Do I no, go, that's the no, thing. No, that's you don't why. Because there's a lot of stuff out on the internet. And you can't why, believe. No, I know. On the that's why I I look at a few things mm-hmm. and I make up my own mind. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It's not like I only go one way and that's it. I look at a few things and I go my own way. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I'm not a big reader, but you know, I watch a lot of stuff on you know what's going on on, on videos and stuff, and put my own uh, my own thing together. And when when I start research, you know, looking through the uh, through those terrorists, ISIS, which is supposed to be like huge right now, because uh, they said the United States underestimated them. Mm-hmm. Um, the videos that they put on of the beheadings, they edit out the actually beheading part. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The, 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 the actual um, horror of the act but see, before is actually they taken used off. To, with, uh, when Obama, or Obama, when uh, Osama bin Laden yeah, was same beheading. Thing. Same thing. You had it right. <laughs> <laughs> he, you actually saw the whole thing. Right. And you're right. Now, this time, I haven't seen a full video. No. Not that I want to, but it shows you. No, absolutely now, not. So now it's kind of leading you down a different path. If he's not quite doing that, that they could be doing something else and playing a mind trick on you. Yeah, right. And it's all right. another conspiracy theory. That's I think, right. Yeah. But see, that, that that's the thing. It's like you don't. At this right point, now, you don't, I don't even tru- know I don't trust real. anybody. I don't trust my government. I don't trust. At you this know, point, we don't know what what's real. Correct. You know, we don't know what, where anything's real anymore because of all the bullshit that comes out and 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 you you can't tell. You know what I mean? We could be we could be going to over there, you know, kill, uh, doing another war thing because mm-hmm. it makes money. You know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't make money to us, but it makes money for the country. Yes. They say it's supposed to be good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, war is never good. You know, but for them, it's it's supposed to be good. But the only reason they do that is because there's well, oil okay, over. just think if you, if you have a war, you got to make weapons. So right. the people in, in the stock market and the people making weapons got to make money. And you got to sell the, the weapons. You got, and you get you know the the uniforms and you know all the supplies that they have yeah. and I mean there's there's a lot of money that goes into it and a lot of different things. Again, like you said with the oil, it's a multi you know, billion making, dollar business. You know, hey, we could sit there and say, oh, they've hijacked all the oil, so we're going to raise prices. I mean. There's a whole bunch of things. Now, do I know every logistic off of it? No. And I'm sure, you know, one of our friends in Cali would, you know, love to jump in on that one. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I mean, I just, it's just a mess out there. That's all I can say. I mean, it's just a complete mess out there. And honestly, I don't trust any of them. I don't trust, I don't quite trust my president. I don't quite trust the people that he stands behind, like Congress and all that, because I think they are half the problem if not almost all the problem. Right. But that's that, that's the thing. I mean, w- w- you, you don't know which way to go. You know what I mean? Everybody's pointing you this way, and then all of a sudden everything is that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you just, I mean, when is uh, the next presidency anyway? I think when? it's next year or in one, either we're halfway through right now. I think we're halfway because I think we do our governors halfway through the president if i'm not mistaken because yeah, we got governors in what this november year, yes so i want to say it's the presidential in two years 
And that's so they, they should start their campaigns in January, if I'm not mistaken. That's between Scott and Christy, which we have no, not Mr. that much Wiley, of a Mr. Wiley, welcome to Florida. <laughs> oh, is that the other guy? I think it's Wiley. I think that's his name. Yeah, I'm, See, you don't, I even mean, know, you don't even know the guy's name. You know what? That, that's but, a damn okay, shame. But why am I going to go for Charlie Chris or Rick Stott? It, if I pick one of them, it's like the lesser of the two evils. Right. I'd rather at least try for something new. And hope for the best, rather than going for one of the ones that have already fucked us in the first place. Well, you know what? You you probably you're probably going to be the majority voter because they're probably both the the people are probably saying the same thing. There's a lot of people. Why saying am I? It. Why am I going for? Why am I going for the crook and the crook? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why don't I just I go mean, for the third guy? I mean, on steady polls on the news, he already has 11 percent of the votes, and that's just with you know controlled demographic. You know, questions, but just right. asking, hey, are you going to vote for Charlie? You're going to ask for, uh, are you going to vote for Rick? So, I mean, it's, he's already got a certain amount out there that's more well known than any of the other previous third party runner up. So, I mean, he's got a chance. And the more and more I talk to people on Facebook and stuff like that, the more and more people are with me that they don't want to go with the lesser of the two evils. Let's just go for something fresh and hope for the best because these guys, one will screw you out of education. And all your money for that. And the other one is just going to screw you out all your other money, period. So there, there's just so many times where both of them have messed us over. I think both of them need to stay out. And I don't see why so many people are standing behind them. When is election day? November 2nd, I think November. it was. So they got like less than a month. November 4th? I don't know. It's one of them, yeah. See, that's a shame because uh, we, we should have we came up with a campaign for the guy to help <laughs> him out. You know what I mean? Why not? Mm-hmm. You know, why? I mean, just because the guy doesn't have any money, that means he can't be noticed. I well, mean, that's he, another, he, that's another mess. That, but that's too. the thing. I mean, he does have some money and he does have some supporters. He's down in Tampa. And I do know that he ran some ads, but ads on TV, especially you want to get cable ads to reach all across Florida is buku money. I haven't seen any. And well, that's the thing. He's doing them all locally because that's all he can afford. But those are also a lot of money. Oh, so he's in Tampa? He's in Tampa, so they're more locally. So t- a lot of t- people in Tampa are probably going to vote for this guy, and then it's whoever else hears about him. Now, I have seen some yard signs for him up here. So it is getting out there about him. Yeah, them yard signs cost a lot of money, too. That's, a, that, that's like- I mean, just think of all the state of Florida, how many counties you have. I mean, it's just it's a lot of money. To, to run these things. And you know what? You've got oh, two... campaign, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you've got Charlie Chris, who has Morgan and Morgan behind him, and then you have Rick Scott, who's already ripped off billions of dollars in the, in the, you know, the state of Florida. So both of them have plenty of freaking money to keep, you know, smashing heads, and let's see who's a bigger ass. I mean, that's a lot of money wasted, too. It I is. mean, campaign money is, is a lot of... And then there's no limit, either. No. I and mean, it, it is. There it's is absolutely no mind-boggling it. how much money they're millions spending on and millions and bullshitting millions. each other to which one's a better candidate. Exactly. Neither of you guys are better candidates. Shut the fuck up and get out of the race. You both suck. <laughs> right? You just wasted all that money for what? <laughs> to sit there and keep arguing the same fact that both of you guys suck. I mean, good Lord, just why don't you guys spend that money on something that we really need? Well, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out because I'm off again tomorrow. So if I got nothing to do tomorrow, yeah, right, get a job, will I'll you? Probably, uh, oh, man, that sucks too. But um, <clears throat> I'll probably look up and see his campaign thing and maybe like post some stuff and yeah. Go, cause I the, watched you know, I watched one of it and it, it yeah you know, I I don't know if it's some of the big words he used or whatnot. He he's big on this economic plan that he wants to do, and I couldn't I wanted to know more about the economic plan. So that's why I haven't talked too much about it because I don't know everything about him yet. But still, again, I'd rather not vote for the lesser of the two evils. Right. No, but see, the thing is, uh, what I was going to say with him, um, it's going to be the same thing at that, like, Amendment 2, the marijuana thing. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's not getting passed. Is that, I have the biggest you know, they feeling were like that that is not going to get passed. 80% people are going to vote for it. Yeah, now it's probably like 30% people are going to no, vote for this thing. No, the 80% people are still want to vote for it. But see, the thing is, the way they see it is, oh, there's enough people, there's 80%, you know, people already doing it. Uh, I don't, they don't need my vote. You know what I mean? It's I mean, already going to pass. But that's the, that's, that's the thing I've heard. I've heard that this is what they're going to wind up doing. They're going to wind up, people are going to be like too too lazy to go vote because they say it's already going to pass anyway because it's already 80%. Mm-hmm. 
But what's going to happen is all these all these people against it who actually have millions of dollars in their campaign to stop Amendment 2 are going to start putting all these old people in buses. They're going to start, you know, chartering buses to like the villages and, mm-hmm. you know, all all the old places where all the old people live and put them in the buses and somebody's going to talk to them saying they're going to amendment two is the marijuana thing. We have to vote against it because it's then and it is. And they're going to convince I'm telling you, this is what's no. going to happen. All them old people are all going to get convinced about the marijuana thing. That is not no, going to be a good thing. You know thing. what? I'll tell you, I'm one of them. Okay. I used to You're want, I used, no, but I used to sit there and say, okay, I'm in the, amendment two, no problem. I'm, I'll vote for that. But you know what? Now I'm having second thoughts because a, a lot of it is some of the information in the ads. It kind of makes you more of aware. Plus, if you just recently heard about Delaware, um, uh, Colorado, where a quadriplegic guy or a paralyzed guy, something like that, um, was actually fired from work because he smokes to keep the pain away. But because it's still a legal federal level, that the company just fired him. Now he can't get a job anywhere. Well, that's uh, that's what's gonna. That's and still gonna happen. Yes, yeah. Yeah. No. But I mean, stuff like that. It, it makes it more aware mm-hmm. that no matter what the state allows you, it's still illegal on a federal no, level. It's and still so illegal, yes. they will still get you one way or another. Absolutely. You will lose jobs. We'll have more unemployment. Our unemployment rate will go even more higher because more of these jobs will continue to let you go because it's not going to be like oh you have a card yeah my ass i'm not going to let you you know work here no right it's actually you do have a point i mean wow that's actually uh pretty did you just think of that or you no i've been thinking about this i've been actually waiting for a good time to tell you that i might not vote for it because of some of these reasons that i've been i've been actually looking into it um you know i would love for a lot of people to have marijuana to help them i think it can be a wonder drug but i think the way it's about to get legalized is not the right See, way to me to me i i, I want to make it not yeah like, like i was telling it. you i'm i'm very happy that charlotte's web was legalized at the beginning of the year and that's because i mean you're one that you smoke and you have i swear i think you have oh, adhd me? okay but it helps you focus you can get up in the morning and you smoke and you're ready to go to work you're focused you can actually think better you can come home, smoke, and get ready for bed. It's a mind game, okay? And I think Charlotte's Web, on top of helping with the pain and stuff like that for little kids, because it doesn't get you high, but it's a medicine, I, I actually want to research that for my own daughter for ADHD. I don't want to put her on all these chemical drugs like Adderall and freaking keep harming her, pumping her full of these pills when I think a perfectly legit medicine without... The effects of getting her high, quote unquote, it's actually will help her focus and it's not harmful to her body like a prescription is. Well, to me, it's more like, well, you know how I feel about kids and, you know, pump, giving them drugs yeah. anyway, but. We don't want them zombified. Right. All right. Speaking of zombified. Uh, <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Zombie. Uh, what is it? Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead is on tonight. It's yep, on nine tonight o'clock. At nine o'clock. Woohoo! Yeah. So got, we gotta hurry up and do birthdays and gotta, get up out of here. I yeah, got a date with my son. Yeah, you gotta get, get out on time because then you got you gotta go drive home. You know, so yeah, big drive. Yep. I got home. a date with my son. Got a date with the son. All right. So you ready, Mister Man? And I'll be hanging out by myself. Yeah. Like I usually do, but go ahead. I'm ready. That's all right. Just put on porn and you'll be done in a couple minutes. Yeah. Right. All right. So. Are we, uh, you have anything for me, or am I just jumping into this? Uh, birthday song. Yes, I have a birthday song. If you song. don't have it ready, let's just go, because it's almost time. Gotta, you know, right, gotta you got to be on top of things. I'm on top of it. Once a year we celebrate with stupid hats and plastic plates. The fact that you were able to make a trip around the sun. And the whole clan gathers round and gifts and laughter do about. We let out a joyful sound and sing that stupid song. That song is too loud or too long. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make a cut. You're still having to see. That's what you can do tonight. You can make me a birthday song. Okay, I'll make you a birthday song. All you right. know what? There is the biggest mosquito it in is. this place. It is. It's huge in Did here. That's another reason. Why, yes, thing? and I want to get out of here because. Wow. Of it. All right. Ahead. Number one, Kirk Cameron. Kirk Where's he Cameron. been all your life? Forty-four. Right on the nose. What a way Am to I start really? the game. All right. All right. Cool. right. Forty-four. Kirk Cameron. <laughs> What about Jerry Rice, the football player? Jerry Rice, the woman beater? 
27. Nope. Way higher. 30. Way higher. Damn. 35. Are you thinking of the same Jerry Rice I am? Oh, no. Uh, Football Jerry player. Rice. How do you mean? What's his name? The other Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Well, uh, Uncle Ben's Rice. The other guy. The woman beater. Is he a woman? I, don't, I haven't heard anything. No, about not Jerry. I know not he's a Jerry Rice, player. not the woman beater. The Jerry. other Rice. Uh, Ray Rice was the woman okay, beater. Okay, this is oh, Jerry, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. No, he's not a woman beater. Not that I he know. He looks him. very young. Uh, Jerry Rice has to be. I'll tell you this. He's older than you. I know he has to be. 52. Ooh, close. He is 51. 51? Okay. All right. Paul Simon. Paul Simon. Paul Simon. Paul Simon is 72. Hold on. Paul Simon. 72. Oh, again, on the nose. Really? Boy, you are wow. on it tonight. Can you see this paper from No, I can't. I hide this. Man, he is on a roll tonight. <laughs> Marie Osborne. Osborne. Osmond. Marie Osmond. Marie Osmond. Marie Osmond is older than me, so I want to say 49. Mm, 54. 54. That but much at least older? you went lower than wow. higher, so I'm sure she appreciates that. And your last one for tonight, Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar. 55. Nope. Really? Yep. He is. He's not your oldest tonight, but he's he's up there. 59. Up. Really? 60s, yep. He's in his 60s? Yep. Wow. 60s? 63. Six. Si- 60. 60. <laughs> How many times are you going to hit that? Thing? Holy shit. <laughs> Sammy Hagar is 66? Yes. Good Lord. So oh, happy, fuck. happy birthday to our uh, our dear friends there. Oh, that sucks. 66? Yep. Wow. All right, friends well, and family. Made the show. Thank you very much for listening. Big Al's got to go. Got to catch she's, my Walking Dead. She's got to catch the I'm Walking sure Dead. I'm sure all of you've got to go as well. And all you got to go because all you got to get up walking, in the morning. Walking Dead. Nope. Everybody's going to watch Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Well, that's. I stopped watching it because it just got stupid for me. But. Yeah, well. Anyway, thank you everybody for listening. Big Al, you're the best. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday. Love you, mean it. Have a good night. <laughs>